accept responsibility. Who here has a tendency to blame someone else? I'm raising my hand too, okay? And if you're not, we'll, we need to figure that out, okay? Who else has a tendency to complain? Who else has a tendency to blame COVID when they don't make any sales, okay? <laughs> Who else has a tendency to make a lot of excuses for their lack of success, okay? I'm telling you, the moment everything will start to change for you is the moment you start to accept responsibility. You don't hit your target, your fault. You don't make a sell, your fault. The leads suck, your fault. You don't get referrals, your fault. Appointment goes horribly, your fault. I don't get what I want in life, my fault. The moment this, this little mental shift starts to happen of, dude, I'm in control of everything around me at all times and I'm doing my thing and if I don't succeed, I'm blaming me and nobody else. The moment you actually start to do that, your entire life will change. Woo! Woo! Thank you guys, appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I got one question, okay, as I kick this thing off. Who likes money? Yeah. Come on now. Who likes yeah. money? Come on now. Who likes money? Okay, come on now. Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, two more, two more. Sorry, I missed you, okay? Next time, next time, my video guy wants money too. I already give him money every week. Thank you, guys. So the question is, what just happened here? What, what did you notice? Roger just talked about take action now, right? Okay. Also, what else did you learn? Do you want to be sitting in the front or in the back, okay? Honestly, when I go to an event, I never sit second row, ever. I don't even care how much it costs. I know that Nate, like, you know, set up the, the, the seats and you probably paid the same as me, but you got second row or whatever, but I'm like, dude, I'm sitting in the front, okay? <laughs> because over these last, I would say that, like, if, uh, what I'm gonna do, because my life has re really changed the last 39 months, specifically the last 39 months. But for everything to change, we gotta, we gotta, change. you guys are still with me, we gotta, change. you guys are still awake, we gotta, change. come on now, Kevin, we gotta, change. the question is, who's gonna change? Why are you gonna change? When are you gonna change? And at what point in our lives are we gonna wake up and realize if it's meant to be, it's up to me? I'm telling you, you are the secret sauce, yes. right? Like you are the little special piece of the recipe. I'm looking at myself in this, in this uh, I, I, uh, Nate, it is Robert Graham, by the way, okay? But who else is freezing flipping cold right now, okay? <laughs> I was, gonna, I was gonna speak in a dress shirt, I'm like, I will freeze. I can barely feel my toes. I'm like, I gotta wake up. Right? It's cold. Who's seen the movie Molly's Game with Molly Bloom? Poker movie. So, uh, such a good movie. Okay, such a good movie. I loved at the end when she's talking to her dad, who's like a therapist or a psychiatrist or whatever you call that stuff. Okay. And they're hanging out and talking at the end. And she, he says, I'm going to break all the rules. I'm going to give you all the answers. And I'm gonna give you three years of counseling in three minutes, right? For the last few years, I've been doing a lot of one-on-one -on -one coaching. There's days where I'll walk into my office and I'll have 13 Zooms in a day. 
I was, it was so funny, I was telling somebody the other day, in 2018, I was charging $100 for a coaching session, <laughs> okay? The last coaching session I think we sold was $3,500 for 60 minutes. I just made the decision the last several weeks, I'm, never, I'm not doing one-on-one -on -one coaching at all through Zoom ever again. Someone wants it, they gotta come to my office. Why? 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 All true, and time is our most valuable asset. For me to get to where I want, I've gotta be focused on driving the brand, right? Driving our team, paying attention to all the little details. So, as I use money to have a little fun, okay? And if you think we're having fun now, can you imagine my breakout sessions on Saturday morning, okay? <laughs> Come on now. Come on now, Brad. Come on now, Pete, okay? I can tell you, if you think this is crazy, wait till Saturday at 8 a.m. and 9 a.m., okay? Raise your hand if you know without a shadow of a doubt you will be at one of Cody's breakout sessions on Saturday, okay? Hey, hey, good freaking decision, by the way, okay? Because the title of that's gonna be how to go from six to seven figures with recruiting. What I believe we all need, Sim and Sam, is people. What I've learned, most people think businesses build people. I'm here to tell you that's wrong. People build businesses. I am beyond fortunate. We've got a bunch of our team members, Derek, Andy, Zeb, Ty, who's a business partner, Garrett, Rodney, as I'm trying to see through the lights, Dylan, a bunch of team members here. And, and, and several of them paid for their own way, by the way. Because nice. I'm not paying for their ticket, okay? Why? Because, and if you paid for somebody else's ticket, I'm telling you, don't do it next time, okay? Why? Because you have to pay to pay attention. I'm telling you, the moment you start to actually spend your hard-earned money, you start to actually pay attention to what's going on, okay? So when I talk on Saturday about how to go from six to seven figures with recruiting, it's because over these last 39 months, I found incredible people, right? I either solo own or co-own several companies in Springfield, Missouri with over 100 staff that will do over $13 million in total revenue this year. Just bought a climate-controlled storage unit two days ago that sits right behind our office. Why? Because you, because what, really what happens is, is in the cycle of a business, you have a successful business, it produces cash, and then you invest that. I always miss the third piece, right? I'm 30, I ain't invested in nothing for 10 years. I made a decision in 2021, it's time to invest. It's time to start thinking about my future, right? It's time to start taking cash and making it easier on me in the future. So when I talk about people, I'm telling you, you need incredible people. Who knows they need, uh, who would like a lot of amazing people around you, okay? Who would like to have a sales team that produces revenue? I think our marketing team's done, I don't know, 110 grand in revenue this week and I haven't even been there. Okay. Does that suck or does that suck? That's pretty freaking cool. It doesn't suck at all. You need people, right? You need an Andy who freaking runs things. You need a videographer. Like Perry Lunsford does an unbelievable job of getting a ton of uh, leads and appointments and everything else. Why? Because the dude is putting himself out there. Who's scared of putting yourself out there right now? Honestly, talk to me. Okay. If we can't be honest here with, with all the craziness going on here, you can't be honest anywhere. Okay. What we've got to realize is quit worrying about what everybody else thinks. Quit worrying about how people are going to perceive you and realize, dude, I'm going for my dream, right? We've heard that all day today. Like, I am chasing my dream. Yes. Who's going to make a decision to start to chase your dream today? Who's going to make a decision to start to change, right? Because if everything's going to change, I got to change. Yep. I interviewed Brian Tracy and Les Brown. And they both said the exact same thing in an interview. They had one little nugget that they both said. You wanna know what that is? Yes. Yes. You wanna know what that is? Yes. You wanna know what that is? Yes. I, ca I caught it and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is incredible. This is ridiculous. They said, both said, you have to accept 
responsibility. Both of them. Two of the best speakers and sales trainers on the planet. And they both say the exact same thing in two separate 30-minute interviews. And I had no idea they were going to say it. Accept responsibility. Who here has a tendency to blame someone else? I'm raising my hand too, okay? And if you're not, we'll, we need to figure that out, okay? Who else has a tendency to complain? Who else has a tendency to blame COVID when they don't make any sales, okay? <laughs> Who else has a tendency to make a lot of excuses for their lack of success, okay? I'm telling you, the moment everything will start to change for you is the moment you start to accept responsibility. You don't hit your target, your fault. You don't make a sale, your fault. The leads suck, your fault. You don't get referrals, your fault. Appointment goes horribly, your fault. I don't get what I want in life, my fault. The moment this, this little mental shift starts to happen of, dude, I'm in control of everything around me at all times and I'm doing my thing and if I don't succeed, I'm blaming me and nobody else. The moment you actually start to do that, your entire life will change. I promise you, okay? Quit blaming everyone else. Quit blaming Nate for a lack of training or he gave somebody else the Glen Gary leads and he gave you the poo-poo leads like I'm telling you, okay? The moment you start to accept responsibility in your life. I hear agents all the time. Like I, I did this uh, uh, live video a few months ago and I did it because, and I called it like a live COVID update, okay? And I did it because I talked to four agents in one single morning. They all blamed 2020, 2020 failure to COVID. 2020 was the best year of my life. That's right. yeah. yep. And it could have been the best year of your life the moment you accept responsibility. Okay, I, I am controlling my own destiny, and you are too. Now let me get into some coaching. Okay, I got to set the mood, though. I got to set the tone, and you got to be in the right mindset before you could even start to absorb some of this stuff. True or true? True or true? You guys still with me? You awake? Do I got to give out more money, or what the heck's going on? Okay, you with me? Okay, right? They, they may not be because they want me to give out more money. Who knows, right? Hey, that, you guys messed up that one. Okay. Who wants to be successful? Who, if I told you that the most successful people in the world do one thing every day, would you do it? Yes. Who's heard that successful people write down their goals? Yes. Okay, some of us. Who's heard that successful people write down their goals? Yes. Okay, you got to have them before you can write them. Who wrote down their goals this morning? And, and, and there's no reason to lie to me. You're lying to yourself. Who wrote down your goals this morning? Who wrote down your goals this morning? Who wrote down your goals this morning? Everybody says, I want to be successful, Roger. I will do whatever it takes, but I won't take three minutes to freaking design my life and write it down every day. The single greatest thing that I do every single day that has changed everything in my life is I write down several goals every single day. I write that I own a beach house, a vision jet, and a helicopter. And, and, and my team's like, why do you need a helicopter? I'm like, dude, why not? <laughs> I don't know why I need it, but I'll use it, right, Perry? I'll do something with it, okay? <laughs> I write that we have a four-story glass tower in Springfield, Missouri, with a helicopter pad on top. I write that I own a thousand apartment units. I write that our sales team sells over a million dollars every 30 days. I write that I help every insurance agent in the world. Like I'm writing all these things. I write that 8% Nation has 10,000 people at it. Why am I writing this stuff? Because for me to go there, I gotta go there. Right? For me to go there, I gotta go there. For me to go there, I gotta go there as you're taking notes today. You go there in the mind before you go there in the body. And a lot of us are floating through life, we're floating through our day, we're not accomplishing anything, and we're not setting out to make sure that we have our best day ever. Accept responsibility and write down your goals. If you wanted to, who could do that? Based on the fact that everyone could do that, who's actually going to start to do that? Hey, if I told you, you were 
100 times more likely to get whatever you wanted in life if you wrote down your goals every morning. Who would actually start to write down your goals every morning? I'm telling you, if you get anything out of the whole weekend, if you will just do this one simple exercise to start every single day, please, I promise you, you will look back in 12 months and say, holy freak, who was that dude or who was that chick? I can promise you that. Winners write down their goals every single day. I had someone do this at a power day. I had someone pay 10 grand to come spend a day with me in our office in Springfield, Missouri. And I walked them through this exact stuff that I'm giving you for, well, you didn't pay me, so nothing, okay? I'm actually paying you, <laughs> right? <laughs> Technically, okay? And these dudes named Joe and Alan, they came in the office. And we spent some time together. They were failing miserably. They were not doing well at all. I walked through this exact same stuff that I'm walking through with you, and I'm going to need to speed it up for sure. The next week, they had the best week they've ever had. And it was five times better than any week they'd ever had in the past 12 months. So should they have paid me 10 grand or should they not have? And who else should too, truthfully? If it's actually going to help that much and you're going to have your best week ever, your best month ever, your best year ever, would you trade 10 grand for your best week ever? Your best month ever, your best year ever. Okay? Nate, I'm not pitching, I'm getting, I'm doing that in the workshop. Okay? I'm not pitching at all. Okay? <laughs> but you should. True or true? I get a little excited and aggressive today. Okay? I got my workout in this morning. Maybe that's why. Okay? Second thing after goals is coaching. Okay, I guess you could say third after accept responsibility. Who heard when we first started today that the best people in the world have a coach? Was that Bill Gates earlier that said everybody should have a coach? That's ridiculous. That's amazing. That's crazy. Ridiculous in a good way. Who's currently paying for coaching? Okay? These are some honest questions you got to ask yourself. I don't care if you hire me. Hire whoever you want, right? My buddy, Coach Michael Bird, will be here tomorrow, I think, right? I'm, I guarantee you'll take your money, okay? <laughs> Guaranteed. <laughs> if the most successful people in the world to have coaches, why don't you? If the most successful people in the world write down their goals every single day to start their day, why don't you? Right? Like, we play with this thing. Like, we're, Gus, we're like, dude, I want to be successful. I, I hear it all the time. Cody, I will do whatever it takes. And then I'm like, go do this, 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 and this. They're like, well, everything but that. <laughs> like, one of the things I do to start off my day every morning, right? Marlon does it too. Cold shower. Right? Do, we do that separately, but we both do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why the cold shower? Why the cold shower? It wakes me the freak up. It gets me out of my comfort zone, right? And it forces me to do something I don't want to do. The moment you start to actually get out of your comfort zone and force yourself to start to do stuff that you've never done and you are scared to death to do, and there's a ton of fear associated with it, I can promise you, everything in your life will start to change. The cold shower here is a joke, by the way. It is not cold at all. I could have stayed under there all day, okay? It was not, not compared to Missouri, okay? It was not cold at all. If, if I told you you would have better days because you, took a, because you spent a couple minutes in ice cold water every morning, who would actually do it? Okay. Now we're going to really see who actually wants to be successful and who really doesn't want to be successful. Everybody says I want to be successful. I'm telling you what I do that made me successful. I'm not special. Okay. Yes, I got my dad's work ethic. Yes, I show up when I'm sick. Yes, I you know, do, do whatever it takes. However, there's nothing special about me. I outwork people. I get more attention. I do freaking crazy stuff and I, and I take cold showers. Okay. And I write down my goals. <laughs> Anybody can do that. Okay. I went to Grant Cardone's $50,000 mastermind uh, about, a, about 14 months ago. You say, well, why would you do that? The most successful people in the world have coaches. True or true? True. 
True or true? true. You guys still with me? Yeah. Okay. I got to check in, right? Part of sales training is you do not present to someone that's not paying attention, okay? That's stupid, okay? Right? If they're not paying attention, I'm not going to go through the sales process at all. If, 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 if Miss Betty's got the TV on and it's affecting her ability to pay attention to me, hey, Miss Betty, can you do me a favor? I'm having trouble focusing. Can we turn the TV off, please? Right? I'm telling you, that there's a big sales nugget in that. I'm not proposing to somebody that's not paying attention. They're not fully bought in. They're not engaged, right? Third, limiting beliefs. There are specifically things that are holding you back from taking that next level in your life. I guarantee you that. For example, most people care about what everybody else thinks. Who struggles with that one, okay? I struggle with that one greatly previously, okay? Or afraid to get out of your comfort zone. You can't force yourself to do something. We're at my house the other night. I'm in the hot tub, and my wife's like, um, I'm like, babe, uh, we just opened the pool. It was the same day we opened it, and we're in Missouri. It's still pretty cold up there, okay? And it's like, oh, it's like 10 days ago. And she's like, yeah, it's like 50 degrees. <laughs> she's like, I bet you won't jump in it. <laughs> I, can't, I can't be a hypocrite, okay? So I go, look, it's 53 degrees. What would you have done in that moment? I made sure I got on video, but I jumped in the freaking pool, okay? <laughs> right? And a lot of people are scared to spend money because they're afraid they won't get it back. Yep. Apparently, I'm okay giving it away because I know I'm going to get it back. Right. Who knows they need to invest in something, someone, etc., some idea, but you're currently afraid to do it? Okay? You know that you need to do something, but you are honestly afraid to do it. You need to pull the trigger. If it's going to get you closer to your mission and your dream, you need to do it. And I promise you, a weight will be lifted once you do. I'm just telling you the stuff that worked for me. There are specifically things holding you back from taking the next level in your life, and you've got to identify them. Like Nate talked about, right? A lot of it's our parents how we were raised, our teachers, right, our coaches in, in, in basketball or whatever else, right? Like, that's a lot of it, by the way. Okay, that's a lot of it. Fourth, your ideal life. I'm currently designing, and I'm always redesigning my ideal life. What I want 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, 60 years from now. You're like, 60 years is a long time. Well, Roger's dad's 91, I'll be 90, okay, in 60 years. Have you went there? You go there in the mind before you go there in the body, right? To go there, you got to go there, right? To go there, you got to go there. Have you went there? Have you sat down and actually started to create what you want that to look like? How do you travel? Who do you travel with? How many team members do you have? How much revenue do you do? How much do you give to charity? I don't care what you come up with, right? But I'm telling you, this single exercise of actually sitting down and mapping out what you want in the future and then back, taking steps backwards to get there will change the game because I know what I want. And it's, yes, it's freaking insane, by the way. But I got a better chance of getting there if I actually go there first. True? True? Yes. True? Yes. True? Who likes money? Okay. Yes. True. Who likes money? Yes. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, three more. One, two, I'm sorry, I gotta give it to Joe, okay? He's gave me a lot of money, so I gotta give it back, okay? All right, give these guys a hand, okay? All right, you guys are still awake, right? We're still awake, Nate. We're still alive, Nate. Are you going to end up with what you want? Are you going to end up going there? Are you going to end up with your ideal life or are you going to make excuses for why you didn't make it? Because at some point in your life, you're going to reflect and you're going to look back and you're going to have everything you wanted or you're going to have a lot of excuses and complaints and reasons why we didn't get there, why it didn't happen, why you didn't end up with what you wanted. Here's a little trick that I do when I set goals, by the way, okay? You'll want to write this down. I make sure they're extremely large 
to the point that they scare me, by the way, on purpose. And I'm always creating short-term targets. I'm talking about like, for example, I just did a, I just did a uh, challenge. I was, I was raising a million bucks in 30 days. Okay, between our sales teams and, 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 and what I was doing, I, I think we reached about three quarters of a million dollars. Okay, so did we fail? I don't know, depends how you look at it, <laughs> right? But why would I set it to begin with? Never done it, want to see if I could do it, freaking crazy. I ran a half marathon last year. Um, I ran an Ironman last year. I'd never ran more than a mile in like seven years, okay? Uh, why? I want to step outside of my comfort zone. I want to wake myself up. I want to force me to do stuff I've never done, right? I want to go there, okay? Thank you, Chris. I want to go there. And I know who realizes that if you're in better physical shape, it helps your ability to go make money. I guarantee you Marlon will agree, right? He said he's lost like 60 pounds. Dude looks incredible, okay? He's kind of trying to compete with me with my abs, okay? <laughs> And I guarantee you he has more energy right now than he's ever had. Do you need energy to be successful at sales? Yes. When you're selling, what are you selling? Are you selling a product? Are you selling freaking boring insurance? Or are you selling you, right? Are you selling conviction? Are you selling passion? Are you selling your ability to get someone to pull the trigger, right? Are you selling your ability to help someone do something today? Are you selling a relationship? Are you selling your ability to help someone build rapport? Here's what I want you to do. What do you believe the number one quality every sales, great salesperson has? Boom. Lori is absolutely correct, by the way. Okay. Give it up for Lori. That was quick. She gets. So she said confidence, by the way. Okay. Who, 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 who assumed that was probably it? How you talk to yourself matters. The question is, how are you currently talking to yourself? Are you speaking positivity in yourself? Or are you telling yourself you're stupid? Are you walking into a cell saying, I am closing this deal today? Or are you saying, ah, I had a burger for lunch. I don't feel real well. I'm not sure if this, how this is going to work out. Or also, when someone's like, I'm not interested, okay, or I don't have any money, or I can't qualify, or I'm busy, I love that one. Like, they answer the phone, but they're busy. Total sense, okay? <laughs> Makes total sense, right? And you hear some of these objections, how are you responding? Are you responding with confidence? Are you pushing through? Or are you listening? We had a lot of new agents in here. Or are you listening to the ridiculous stuff that prospects say to you? If it's, if it's stupid, I ignore it. I'm not interested. I wouldn't be interested either. I'm broke. I wish I had more money too. <laughs> I'm in awful health. Doctor says I, I, I could pick it up too. I'm, I'm with you. As you're taking notes, the first step you have to do when you hear an objection is you have to agree. Doesn't mean that you totally agree with whatever they're saying, but you're not gonna get where you want by being disagreeable. True or true? true. Right? You notice I'm not giving false answers. <laughs> Why? Because it's correct. <laughs> what do you gotta be what do you, what, do you, what, do you, what do you have to have to be great at sales? Confidence. I'm not gonna have you raise your hand, but who could use more of that? Right? I'm not talking about arrogance, right? I'm not talking about walking up here and showing off with money. I'm talking about having personal confidence in your own ability. Like waking up saying, for example, for those that don't know my story, I made $117,391.13 in my first eight months at 20 years old while I was in college, while I was playing basketball with no leads. I cold called and cold door knocked and had no sales experience <laughs> and sold life insurance cold, cold door knocking. Okay. I didn't know anything. I didn't know any better. What did I do? I went out and just outworked people. But with that first year, I made a decision and set a goal. I will earn $100,000 my first year. Are you committing to goals and targets of what you're going to accomplish this year? 
Okay, you, we can't make this stuff up. At some point, you've got to say, here's what's happening this year, here's what I'm doing, and you're not saying I may do it, I hope I do it, maybe we'll get there. Our companies do $100 million a year. Now, do they? No. But that's how I write it. And will we? Come on now. <laughs> right? We just talked about confidence. I can't lose it. Right? I'm telling you guys. <laughs> you have to believe in you. How you talk to yourself matters. Quit telling yourself you're fat, you're, 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 you'd have no energy, you know, you suck at sales and you're horrible on the phone or you're poor at objections or you can't get anybody to close deals or you're not going to make it or you're going to quit because quitting is a decision. Quitting is a mindset. You should write down, one of the things I do that I, when, when I'm taking that cold shower and I'm talking to myself, I talk to myself and I tell myself, I never get tired, I never quit, I'm a machine and I'm unstoppable. Why? Because I never get tired, I never quit, I'm a machine, and I'm unstoppable. The question is, it's not even a question. You are also unstoppable the moment you start to realize it. The question is, are you, are you telling yourself those type of things? Are you thinking, I may quit if I don't start to make some money? Or are you telling yourself, I will never quit? That's good. Right. That's good. Quit planting that doubt in your head of, I may not make it. I'm telling you, you will make it. Yes. The moment you start to say, I will make it. <laughs> if you do not quit, you cannot fail. I'm at zero seconds. Thank you, guys. Oh, hey, and, 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 okay? I have, how, how awesome did he do? Oh, oh, man. <laughs> I absolutely love this dude, okay? Once you get to know him, he's one of the nicest, and most amazing people on planet Earth, okay? Also, I can tell you it's about time he's opening this up to everyone outside of just his team, okay? <laughs> because the information you're going to receive the next three days is freaking insane. But the moment you start to pay attention, realize, take notes, and actually become an implementer and become a master communicator, everything will change. And also, when you show up for my breakout Saturday morning, everything will also change, okay? Hey, if you love this video, you're gonna love, okay? I got behind the scenes with Jordan Belfort at our conference about how he can help new agents and what he would do if he was you. Check that video out. Please.